Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with a good old fashioned Goodwill outlet bins haul video. So this past Sunday, I needed to pick my husband up at the airport and I went to the bins in Nashville. There are two locations in Nashville and the one that I go to all the time is closer to my house, but his flight was delayed like two hours. So I thought, you know what? The other bins location is closer to um, the airport. So I went there after I went to my normal bins location. If you go to the bins on a weekend or during, hi Penny, if you go to the bins on the weekend or when it's super busy, you'll know that some people there who are searching the bins are kind of just feral. Like I do kind of wonder how they act in like other situations. Like if they're at a restaurant, do they just race up and grab food off of other people's plates or do they wait for other people to go by? Um, so it is kind of a vibe at the bins where things are a little crazy. The, it was just really busy this day because it was a Sunday. So I was just maybe not in the best mood for the bins, but I did find, um, I think 46 pounds worth of things between the two locations where I pay $1.49 a pound for these items. So um, the first location, I just finally left. They weren't bringing out any new rotations and I thought I have already dug through all of these different bins. I'm sick of looking at this stuff. So I have not processed or laundered any of these things. I just got these things um, the other day and wanted to go ahead and film this. So some of them do still have the tags on them, um, items that had been in the store at a Goodwill outlet that did not make it and came to the bins. I will say that the second location of this bins is located next to a donation center or attached to a donation center as well as a Goodwill retail store. So I don't know if that changes how things are processed there or if they go straight into the bins there or not. This is at the location I normally go to which is the bag I'm starting with. I did keep them separate so I could kind of see what I got at each location. This is White House Black Market, which I do pretty well selling, and it's a size large. It's a tank top, it's a striped tank top. It's kind of drapey in the front here. And then it has this chain detail on it. So it gives it a little bit of extra something something. It is a pretty hefty piece, like it has a lot of weight to it. This was $5.99 at a retail location um, dated July 18th. I feel like $5.99 for a blouse is sort of reasonable, but, but a tank top does seems like half of a shirt or a third of a shirt. So um, <coughs> I don't always buy into that. Okay, this is the brand CJ Banks. So Christopher Banks is the regular, like standard sizes of clothing for women and CJ Banks is the plus size line. I have <coughs> like 100% sell through on the um, CJ Banks line of things. That doesn't mean it's been a ton of items, I think three or four, but it does sell well for me. This is a cute kind of active jacket and it's, I don't know if it's an abstract sort of animal print or botanical print. It does have a sleeve here at the bottom that was cuffed and it's kind of a windbreaker-esque active jacket but also would be a great travel jacket because it wouldn't wrinkle very well. It's just a full zip and it's got a, a bit of a higher mock neck to it. So this is a size 1X. It's a great feeling coat, so I hope that does well. I picked these up. These had also been at a regular store for $8.99 in August. They are a skinny fit tapered mid-rise jean from Uniglo, but they are a size size are you? I know I know what size you are. 10. These are not a fall fall piece or summer piece, but they really don't seem like a skinny. They seem more like a straight leg to me, but it's a fun floral pattern. I know that floral jeans are kind of out. These were in good condition and I do all right selling you glow stuff. I just have a random assortment of things here on the top. This is for me. This is just a gnome um, winter, like Scandinavian looking gnome. Here we go with this Faroe Isle print. And I just have a bunch of gnomes that I put up at Christmas. Um, and so I grabbed him. You know, they sell these at Walmart and at Hobby Lobby all over the place. So I told you guys a couple videos ago that I won a Love It or List It challenge on Poshmark and I bought myself a new Patagonia hat. Then I won another Love It or List It challenge like two weeks later. 
which was totally bizarre. And I wanted a Portland leather company bag. So I ordered it from a woman who I was like the first sale in her closet. She had two listed and it never shipped. And so I waited and waited. It was her first and so listing. And I finally just kind of messaged her like, hey, I do I need to cancel this? And she had said they'd sent two shipping labels to her, but one was for the wrong person. I don't know. I don't know if she accidentally listed two items, but only had one bag. Anyway, long story on that one. Um, I got my money back and I just want like a brown leather bag. <laughs> so that's what I was gonna use my money on was a um, Portland leather company tote. So I was at the bins and I found this bag in a throw back bin. It has a button closure here at the top. It is an open top. The interior is pretty clean. It's leather. It smells like leather. And honestly, it's in pretty good condition. The brand, I looked it up when I got home. It's a UK brand called Fat Face. And um, it says Fat Face United Kingdom. So I looked it up. The comps, you know, were like 25 to 50, depending on the bag. This is a, a well-made, cute kind of tote bag style and it's perfect. And I got it for, you know, this weighs a little over a pound. So $2 that, and I was able to use my $50 love it or list it winnings um, on a new like wool hat that I got a fedora, not this one, but another one. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed this. I looked at the pattern and I thought that sure looks a lot like Laurel Birch. And this has like bedazzled jewels kind of going on here. There, and I saw the signature, a Laurel Birch signature here. It has this little charm, like a little fob with hearts on it. So Laurel Birch stuff, sometimes like cats were a big thing, I think, for that pattern. This is just sort of a tote crossbody bag. It's pretty clean. Um, it may have a little bit of wear to it, but not too much. I've never tried to sell Laurel Birch before, so I went ahead and grabbed that. These are just Lululemon bags reusable bags that have a snap top i just grabbed them i either will put something in a bag um for listing or when i sell something or i'll use them myself for just a smaller tote bag it's a good size oh what i will say is so i switched away from using plastic bags for storing my inventory i use like a ziploc bag now that i can reuse then I was wrapping things up in like butcher paper or packaging paper. But what I switched to recently were using like brown paper bags, like that you would get like a cookie in at Starbucks or um, a bigger, but these are like eight by 11. And then I just fold over the top of the brown bag and put my sticker on there. I don't have to use tape. They cost me about the same per item as the plastic bags were that I was using. And they are really easy to use. I don't have to fold a lot of paper for most sized items in my um, closet that I'm selling. For bigger items, I've been using the paper still, but it really does. It's just super easy to use. I think it looks really nice. If I remember, I will put in a picture here of what it looks like when I wrap up an item today. I'll take a photo of it just so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, this is the brand Club Z Collection. This brand means nothing to me. Um, I thought maybe it was something, I don't know. And always I'll be putting comps up along the way. The comps on this weren't horrible. It's just a cotton dress. It's a midi length striped button down the front with the tortoiseshell buttons. Pockets, has these strappy little tops. So it's kind of breezy, summer, a little bit of boho, um, but it was 100% cotton and it's made in India. So I did go ahead and pick that up. You know, I always take a gamble on things at the bins, especially because I've said before, I don't get great cell phone service in there. I did get better cell phone service at the other location, but there were way too many people and I just was not in the mood for it. All right, this has a 90s Y2K look to me. It's Guess or G by Guess, which is a newer tag for them. This isn't a vintage piece. Um, it's a size small and it is a floral slip dress. It's got a bit of a drape neck to it, total slip dress. And there are a few strings I need to cut off here on the straps. It's a knee length, midi length look to it. 
or mini, mini, mini length, geez, and it crosses over in the back. So that is what that looks like. It is lined. It's a sheer material on the top. With homecoming coming up, I figure that might work for somebody. I need to get, I got another fun dress in here that totally reminds me of my prom in 1986 that I'll show you. All right, this is the brand Pretty Angel. There we go. And it, I grabbed it because I just liked the look of it. It's got a bunch of embroidery on it. They look sort of like hearts. It's a neutral tan color. It's layered, lots of different layers. Real kind of boho, earthy, breezy, sort of hippie look. It looked to be in good condition. And I thought, well, I wonder what this is made out of. It is 48% polyester, but 52% silk. So with that, I decided to go ahead and grab it. It does not have the size in it, but I will just take measurements. Um, someone had cut the size out and the comps on these were not were not horrible. So at what I'm paying per item, getting 15 to $18 in return is a, what I'm happy with. However, if I get more than that, I'm very happy. And I think the comps on that were close to like 25 to $30. So that's great. This is the brand Angie, which I always see at Ross, um, but I don't, it's a boutique brand that's sold elsewhere. This is a size small. We're coming out of summer, obviously, so I picked up some shorts and swimsuits, but I will list those items all year long. This has a little bit of an embroidered detail in there, or not embroidered crochet. It's a kind of handkerchief bottom, handkerchief print almost, boho sort of floral mixed print dress and so I went ahead and grabbed that this is BDG which is Urban Outfitters size 27 girlfriend high-rise shorts whether these were someone's DIY cutoffs they may have been although based on what I'm seeing on the shorts on the side it does look like they were manufactured as shorts so just an easy pair of shorts to list I, I like listing shorts I've got dogs surrounding me trying to chew on bones, make lots of noise. All right, this is a tankini top in this fun sort of space dye multi-print. It's got ruching up the sides or tie up the sides. It does have an underwire bra cup inside of it. It's lightly padded. It's Land's End size 10. I do pretty well selling Land's End bathing suits and I won't buy bottoms by themselves a lot, but tops I will buy because they are easily matched with bottoms, I feel like. Oh, this is the fun dress I need to get listed for homecoming. Okay, where are you? So the tag is Jessica McClintock Gunny Sacks. This is not the Gunny Sacks, like coveted prairie cottage core, uh, little house on the prairie type dresses from like the 70s. This is more like an 80s, made in the USA, 5'8". So 80s, 90s, I would say 90s look on this. I, my dress for prom was, in 1996, was a Jessica McClintock dress. So this was the same kind of vibe as my prom dress. It has this embroidery and sequins. It's a longer length, kind of a sheath dress with this low back and crosses over in the zipper there. It's a satin um, dress. If I can find, I have pictures. If I can find one, I'll take it of my prom dress. Mine was kind of the similar silhouette. It had lace in the back. This was when I could wear um, a dress without a bra under it because I had younger skin, <laughs> body parts. But um, I loved that dress. And it, who knew that that style would ever come back into play? Okay. This is just a cashmere scarf. It has kind of a Burberry look to it but it's just the 100% cashmere scarves that come out of Scotland. They're like a souvenir scarf that you'll see when your place is. Um, I just really liked the print on it and I didn't even look for holes. I thought it would go in my cashmere like craft lot if it needed to, but it actually was in good condition. This is just a beanie, Victoria Sport black beanie, just acrylic and easy to list. So glad to grab that. This is Knox Rose, which is a Target brand, and this is an XXL, which I've said in previous videos, equates to maybe like even like a large, extra large, but I really just thought this was a perfect fall top. It's got a great pattern. It has a little bit of a crochet insert there, a ruffle neck, 
and goes down into a cuffed sleeve. Just a pretty top for fall. <clears throat> okay, this was also in a retail store for $5.99. The brand is uh, Amena, Omiana. It's the Michelle Camisole in a size large. These had decent comps on it for just a tank top. It's an undershirt camisole top. It's got a little bit of um, extra elastic here at the waist, so it's mild shapewear. This is the brand Style & Company, which I think is sold at Macy's. This is a size 18 mid-rise khaki short. It is new with tags with a retail of $46.90. So that is a great pickup, a bit of a cargo short. This is L.L. Bean, size large. And I am assuming this is a men's pair of shorts, but I will double check. It's a bit of a khaki khaki color, like a orangey yellow khaki, just a nylon hiking short, back zipper pockets. Again, shorts, I will list all year long. This is just a wrap skirt. Um, I don't know anything about this brand. The brand is Cushy, K-U-S-H-I. It's a size medium. This is a midi to maxi, depending on your height, length, true wrap skirt. And it is a cotton linen viscose blend. And it has heavy embroidery in this tan, natural color. So I just really like this oatmeal colored wrap skirt. So I did go ahead and grab that. Okay, this is a, another thing that was in the store for $5.99. The brand is LMR. LM, yeah, LMR. It's a size small, LMR. I looked it up. It looks like it's maybe just a boutique swim brand, but it's just a long sleeve swim shirt. I think it has UPF 50 protection. It's got these tie sides to it, so I did go ahead and grab that. This was in a store as well, back from June. So either they didn't pull it or it's been sitting for a while. It's Eileen Fisher Petite. I probably normally wouldn't grab this just because it's so basic, but because it's so basic, I feel like it is something that's maybe more essential for someone. I was trying to find the what it was made out of. It's a Pima cotton or cotton of some sort. It's just a short sleeve t-shirt dress. It is super basic, but it was in nice condition. I do have one item that is hanging, um, or two items that are hanging. One is a pair of Life is Good sweatshirt, or sweatshirt or sweatpants for myself. And the other one, it's a black tank bodysuit by the brand Yummy. Y-U-M-M-I-E. I found like three tank kind of camisole bodysuits this day, so I grabbed them. This is made well, size small. This is a true kind of wrap top and this fun colorway, which could go into fall. And it ties at the side there. Got a bit of a peplum hem, super cute. It is from 2019 maybe, 2018, and it is 100% cotton. So Madewell, not the best brand for me reselling wise personally. However, I thought I would pick that up because I thought it was a cute top. This is American Eagle Outfitters. This is an older style because it has the outfitters on there. It's the Vintage High Rise Festival in a size 10. I sold a couple pair of these this year and they still did well. It has a contrasting cuff in there from the pocket that you can see. So these are shorty shorts, but I did go ahead and want to grab those. This is fun. This is Crown and Ivy. And it is a size 18W pair of shorts. I really liked the print on these. I think they're very cute, kind of chino short. There's like a monkey and a jungle and some flowers in there. So just a real fun pair of shorts. Again, easy to photograph. All right, this is a pair of Lauren, Ralph Lauren um, shorts. They're 100% linen. They're size 16 and they are adorable. So they're made in India. They're possibly a little bit of an older style. They do have pleats on the front, but they're very cute. This red and white polka dot, linen shorts, 
and they have the L, there we go, RL uh, embroidered on the back pocket. These are absolutely adorable and I think someone will love those. This is the brand Cloth and Stone, which I'm hit or miss on, but I seem to pick it up when I'm at the bins. It's a size extra small. I think this is a tunic, but this could be a mini dress. I'll have to look because it's an extra small. It seems super short, but I think it may, might be a dress. Um, with these vertical stripes, it has a raw rounded hem at the bottom. And then the back is a full button back. It's adorable. Stinking cute. And this is made out of <sighs> linen and rayon. So nice feeling fabric. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me. So this is Europa Artisanal made in by hand, handmade maybe, for Encanto Zapoteca. And it does not have a size. Or, it, oh, maybe it does. <gasps> it says large, that can't be right. But maybe it does. Anyway, I'm does not have a size. It does not look like, oops. This is a jumpsuit and it is adorable. So, okay, let's see, where's the front? So here is a, it's a tank style, but has this off shoulder um, kind of top drape here with this heavy metallic embroidery. It has a super smocked waistline, has these fun pockets, floral pockets. And it goes down into these um, jogger style pants on the bottom. Super, super stinking cute. This will look so adorable on my body form. So I'm really excited to put it on there. It is a cute piece and deserves to find a second home. This is an older Chico's piece in a size one, which is a size small, which is something I would normally not pick up in Chico's at all. But it's a velvet tank top, and I just feel like this is versatile for any brand. It's pretty, someone's looking for a velvet tank for the holidays, they can get this one. Um, and this was also $5.99 in a thrift store from July. Okay, this is super fun for a holiday or a wedding guest. It's ASOS size US 6, new with tags, and it is a <clears throat> deep V halter with this very hard to show on this way let's see <laughs> and it kind of I will try to find maybe a stock photo of this but it drapes in the front has this drape effect and then it goes down into a jumpsuit with this wide leg it's in this champagne sort of coppery bronze color I'll call it champagne um, and that is a, I think it's almost a maxi length, like floor length jumpsuit. So how fun would this be for New Year's or um, a winter wedding if you were a guest or even a bride wearing that at a fun like Vegas wedding or something? That's where I'm dreaming it in my head. <laughs> okay, this is probably from Walmart. I have no idea. Let's see if it says. It is a um, candy corn women's costume for Halloween. It is a plus size, which I don't know what that includes size wise exactly if it says on there, but it's super fun and cute. And I'll probably list it, but I do like handing out candy to people when you know they come to our neighborhood. So I might wear that this year. I thought that was super fun. This is the brand Tiny which is sold at Anthropology, And this does have an anthro tag to it. I don't think it's always sold at Anthropology. Um, this is a size small. It is a, I like the neutral color of this. It's a split neck top. It has all this embroidery in the front and then these kind of burnout sleeves and back to it. And so I do like that look. 
And I feel like it might have been something, let's see, silk or something. Yes, the front is part silk on that sheer contrast. So it didn't have any snags and I thought it would look nice on my body form and it has multi-season wear to it. This is soft surrounding size medium. Not, I would not always pick up a soft surrounding size medium, but I really liked this top. It's just a basic kind of stretchy space dye top, but it feels really nice. Uh, a bit of a longer length, pair over a pair of leggings. Okay, here's another one of those tank tops I got. This is Yleet, or Yeelete, Y-E-L-E-T-E, -E, plus size. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's a brown tan colored long line camisole tank top which had pretty decent <clears throat> pops to it um i will pop in a picture right here of my front porch so they had these like apple crates or like a produce crate from arkansas um the label on it was like arkansas something so it's a something that was used on a field i guess or um in arkansas and I thought, where could I use those for myself? I didn't want to resell them. And then I thought, you know, I want to get um, some new pots to put our um, mums in this fall. And I thought, wouldn't these be adorable if I grabbed these and put mums in them? So that's what I did. So I'll pop in a picture of here of one of them. There were three, two this size and one that was larger. And I didn't want to put the larger one in my cart yet because it was kind of dirty. And I thought, if it's still here when I come back, through on the way to check out, I'll grab it, but someone else grabbed it. So I was glad that they did. Okay. This is coming from the second location of the bins. This blouse was from August in a regular Goodwill. It is Rebecca Taylor size small and it is <laughs> difficult to show. Here we go. So this is the front on it. it has a tie neck and front pockets. It is silk. It has long sleeves. It's a natural color and like a navy. I did not see any snags in it. It was on top of a bin like someone had thrown it back. So I was happy to grab it. It's not a brand I find very often and it was very pretty. So I want to grab that. I thought it was a great transitional and fall piece. This is the brand Ruli, R-O-O-L-E-E. -E. It's a size small. I looked it up. It kind of looks like it's a subscription. Maybe you have to have a membership to shop at their store or maybe a boutique. I'm not sure, but it's, it's like a paisley print, an abstract paisley print. Midi to maxi length dress. It has an elastic waist with a drawstring that is not real. It's just a tie. Um, and it has buttons down the front. I just really thought this was a cute dress with great fall colors. So it will look nice on my body form. And honestly, the comps were not horrible for it. I only had about maybe a half an hour at the second location, um, just waiting for my husband's flight to get in. So this is J. Crew Factory, size extra small. But these are part of the reimagined so it's like their eco-friendly fair trade line of um, items. They're 55% linen, 45% cotton, and they are from the summer of 22. So they're just from last year. They're a pull-on elastic waist cropped wide leg pant. Well, it's not super wide leg, but it's a wide leg pant in this great green color. I don't know what to call this color. It's not like a mint. Uh, maybe not even sea foam, like a lichen, like a lichen. <laughs> That's kind of the color that it looks like to me. So I'll see if I can't find what they're calling that um, when I put the listing up. This is a brand I've never picked up. I don't know anything about it. It is Melissa Page Woman. I feel like I see it at either TJ Maxx or Target. This is a size 2X. It's a sheer top with these it's got a bit of a like exposed shoulder um but it's kind of like a caftan like top look to it a real summery top 
I really like this heavy beading on here. I don't care if this shirt even was $15. There's a lot of beading in here um, originally, whatever the price was. So it was missing one little bead up here. I just really think this would be great for someone who's on vacation, on a cruise, at the beach, to pop over their swim top or a tank with some cute pants and some sandals and they can go to dinner um, at an all-inclusive resort. It's got like a toucan down here, a botanical tropical print to it. But this heavy beading is just a very nice look. It's like they're almost wearing a necklace. So I got suckered in on that one. <laughs> This is another uh, Knox Rose piece. It's also a double XL. And as we previously discussed, it's more, measures more like a large, extra large size wise. I'm not sure if Knox Rose is considered a junior's brand or not. I always put measurements in and I always say how I feel like it runs small. Um, so if someone's used to buying that brand, they just may know what size they wear in it. It has these fun tassels um, at the sides here, tying it. And down here, there is a bit of a crochet trim. It's just a fun gray top. This shirt probably came from, I don't know, Walmart maybe. It is a size 2XL. It's 100% cotton. It's just a pink sublime t-shirt, but it's new with tags. So I'll just sell it. Somebody can upcycle it, tie dye it, do what they want. This was something I took a chance on. The comps aren't great. I thought they might be better. It's Resort Wear Sea Spice. So I picked up a Resort Wear piece from another brand. I can't remember what it's called right now. Last year, it was like a long cover-up dress. And it was like, I think it retailed for like three or $400. It was crazy. But this is 100% Peruvian cotton made in Peru. So I thought it might have a little bit better comps um, on it. It's a white swim cover-up with this crochet lace trim and inserts down the front. I did not have any marks on it that I could tell. I was very shocked actually. So it is a, yeah, 100% Peruvian cotton made in Peru. So I will try to use some good keywords. Some of the comps were like $5 and some of them were like 25. So hit or miss. So when I go to the bins, I always pick up Talbot's, Chico's, and Torrid. Those are like my three go-to brands that I always find at the bins. Um, I found that old Chico's piece, no Torrid this day, which is just unheard of. And this is my Talbot's piece. This is an older Talbot's tag, like vintage Talbot's tag. Um, it's a size six, but it's a corduroy, like velour corduroy paisley jacket. And I can't tell, I don't think it smells like smoke, I think it smells like it's been in a closet for a minute. So I'm gonna look at the hand washing directions on it and to see, but I think this is a really cute, fun color for the winter, someone going to lunch or church on a Sunday, but in the winter where they need a little bit more warmth. This was, this is flawed and I will be probably redonating it. I did not see it while I was at the bins. So the second location of the bins the ceiling's lower. It seemed like it was a thousand degrees in there and it was like kind of just dark and dank. I just not, and there, someone had thrown up in the bathroom. Um, it was just kind of grubby, but maybe that's just me. The other location I go to, they always have a very clean bathroom and it's, I feel like it's not as chaotic. This is Zara Basic. It is an older piece. It's a US size small. I got it because it is a Western style shirt with like the yoke and the, um, overall cut to it and it has an equestrian look to it with these English writers um like a jockey almost leading a horse but and I looked it over for stains and everything else it has a few snags that I did not see so I will see how bad the snags look in the satin material when I kind of get it up close in my light and see if that's something I'm willing to list with flaws or not this is fun. This is Abercrombie and Fitch. It's Abercrombie and Fitch sleepwear. I didn't know they had sleepwear, but these are a pair of striped pajamas. The top is an extra large and the bottoms are a large. But I found them. It was a set and it didn't have any weird stains, tears, rips to it. So I thought I would give that a try. 
This is another thing I took a gamble on that turned out to not have horrible comps on it. I don't know this brand at all. The brand is LaRoque Original. And it says dry clean only, size small. It's a reptile print peplum tank. I believe it's polyester. But it does sort of have a silk feel to it. It does not have... A fabric tag I turned it inside out so I just kind of thought the tag was interesting and I thought I would bring it home this is the brand Sigrid Olsen um, it is a size extra large this is just a cotton tunic top in this fun pink color it's got the crochet lace overlay split neck three-quarter length sleeves real lightweight breezy top perfect for summer like a tunic length heavy embroidery at the bottom trim. I see that at TJ Maxx all the time. I just really liked the style of that, so I grabbed it. This is an adorable kid's hat with this fun little monster face on it, or alien, I'm not 100% sure, cute little winter hat. I opened it up, or I opened it, I turned it inside out and saw that the brand was um, Andy's Gifts. And that brand um, typically has alpaca in it of some sort. So and it's made in Peru. It has 83% acrylic and 17% alpaca. So it is an extremely soft hat. We're going into the right season. It's a fun, funky kids hat. So um, I thought that would be fun to pick up. This is Sundance, which is a catalog brand that I enjoy picking up. It's size large and it is a popover eyelet blouse in this like a slate blue color it has different prints going on it's got heavy embroidery on the back and the front it's just an overall really cute top i was surprised no one had picked this up it's 100 percent cotton and it's a size large and i do it really pretty well selling sundance some of the stuff I've had that has been like a size extra small hasn't sold super fast, but other stuff has. Okay, these are a kid's size, uh, US size eight, eight boys or nine girls, which I thought all kids sizes were the same, but we'll go with it. They're a pair of hunter boots. They're grubby, but a magic eraser, a little bit of um, Dawn dish soap and some other cleaning products should polish these up pretty well. They were in good condition and I thought they were too cute to leave behind. They're like a yellow, a greeny yellow with orange bottom. Just really cute. Couldn't leave those behind. Okay, then I did pick up a few pair of shoes at the um, regular bins that I go to and they're just in a separate bag. So these are saltwater sandals in this rose gold color. I love saltwater sandals. I had them when I was a little kid. I had them when I was a kid and I've had them as an adult. Um, and you can wear them in the water. You can wear them everywhere. I had a super wide foot as a kid. So they have a bit of a wider footbed. I wore mine to death and they're not cheap, new to buy. I've looked and I should just buy myself a pair, but I love them and I've worn them a lot. These are a size three, maybe, in this rose gold color. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. It seems big for a three. I don't know. Anyway, I'll look into it. I love saltwater sandals, and I was really excited to pick those up. These I saw they in the bin. I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and pick them up. They are a men's size nine and a half, and they are a leather riding boot, motor boot from Harley Davidson. They have the um, Harley logo here on the bottom. They need a little bit of. They have this one has um, Harley Davidson boots do have a little bit of wear on the bottom, especially on the right foot. Is that the foot that you shift with? Maybe. Not a motorcycle person. I really can't. My husband bought me a Vespa for my maybe 40th birthday, 39th birthday. I thought I'd always wanted a Vespa. 
And it turns out I didn't <laughs> want a Vespa. Um, I can't make left or right hand turns. Just can't not physically do it. And so I sold that Vespa. But um, I really always thought I wanted a Vespa. Anyway, my husband used to have a Harley. We have like, where I live in Tennessee, seriously, a motorcycle fatality like once a week around here. It's very dangerous to ride motorcycles and to drive in general. So he sold it. He does not have time to ride his bike right now, but um, I'm too much of a control freak to ride with other people and apparently can't make right hand turns. So if I wanted to go for a motorcycle ride by myself or a Vespa ride by myself, I could go in circles. No problem. As long as I didn't have to turn right. <laughs> um, anyway, these still have plenty of life left in them. Um, and I'm just going to sell them as is. They have, Harley's not one of those brands that I do super well with, but I've never tried selling the shoes. These need to be cleaned up a bit. They are a Crocs booty. They're a size nine women's booty. Um, they will clean up well, and these have sold well for me historically in the past, this particular style. All right, this is a pair of kids' stride right shoes. When I, as I said, when I was a little kid, I had white feet. My mom had to like get me special shoes for my fat foot. These are just a leather Mary Jane shoe, perfect for a little kid. And they are a size, they're the clear size nine and a half. So in a, uh, I guess toddler size, nine and a half. That doesn't totally make sense. Yeah, nine and a half, um, nine and a half. So I got those. These do need a little bit of leather conditioner, but it wasn't that the leather was in bad condition. So the brand is um, Corky's and they are a size seven and a half leather pull-on booty. They're supposed to be distressed kind of pebbled leather anyway. The heel is a leather wrapped heel. You can see it has some dings, not dings, just marks to it from probably someone driving. Their foot was resting on the bottom. Um, sometimes like when I sit on a bar stool or like a stool, you put your feet up where it comes here. But I think once I put a little leather conditioner and leather polish on there, um, I have dogs who really want my attention right now, that I think that these will look pretty, pretty good because honestly, the bottoms are in nice condition. So I did go ahead and pick those up. Oops. Um, this one has a little bit of that wear I was telling you about where you put your foot up on something, but overall... They were in decent condi condition, um, and so I went ahead and grabbed those. These were a mistake. The brand is Propet or Prope, P-R-O-P-E-T, the town walker. It sounded fancy, so I was like, all right. They're a leather upper. They're a size eight and a half. They're just like a little leather booty. I thought they were kind of cute. The comps were not fabulous on these. But these are a leather shoe that this Goodwill had marked at $5.99. So that tank top from White House Black Market was also $5.99. So you can get a leather shoe for the same price. Um, they're in good condition and the comps were seriously all over on these. So I'm hoping to at least get like $20 or $25, but we'll see. So that is it. That is my haul from this day. Um, as I said, I think I got about 46 pounds, which is less than I normally get. And I went to two locations. However, I was being pretty particular and I didn't grab a lot of sweaters or heavy items, which sometimes will add my, you know, to the weight um, that I'm picking up. So I was happy to grab what I did. I was happy to go to the other bins location to show myself why I don't frequent that bins as often. It's just, it's pretty crazy. It's just not a place that I prefer going, but because it is close to the airport, it is somewhere I could go back and forth when I do take my husband to the airport. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. The next haul will be out hopefully next week will be another Ben's haul video. If I can get all this stuff listed and sell some of it, uh, sales have really started picking up since September 1st. So that's pretty good news. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.